Hi everybody, what do economists actually do? Well, to understand that, we first need to make a distinction between a natural science and a social science. A natural science is when scientists observe aspects of the universe and form theories around their observations. Whereas a social science is when observations are made of human behavior and theories are then made around those observations. So social science is very much focused on the study of human behavior, which is what economics is. Economics is a study of human behavior and choices that humans make. Theories are then made based on the observations that economists will see in the real world. But crucially, it's still a science is economics. It's a science because we test all of our observations. We test all of our theories. So it's still correct to say that economics is a science, but it's a social science, not a natural science, because we study human behavior. So how can an economist actually come out with a theory? Well, let's understand the basic process of how an economist comes, uh, comes out with a theory in the context of demand theory. So we know that demand theory is an actual theory. How could it come about? Well, the first thing that would happen is economists would observe some interesting patterns of consumer behavior. For example, economists generally notice that when prices are lower, consumers spend more. That's a very interesting pattern of behavior. From that, an economist will form a hypothesis of how consumers spend. So generally, uh, an economist will form a hypothesis, an expectation, that when prices are low, consumers spend more money. From that, an economist would form more precise predictions, predictions that can be clearly tested against evidence. So predictions could be that when prices fall, something that can be tested, right? When prices fall, consumers spend more, whereas when prices rise, consumers spend less. These predictions can be clearly tested, but they are formed from the hypothesis. Then economists will go into the real world and collect evidence. Evidence that will either back up the predictions made or that will falsify the predictions made. The evidence is there to test the predictions. See how economics clearly is a science? Because we collect evidence to test our predictions and therefore to test whether theories will hold or not. So once the evidence has been collected from real world observations, careful real world study of consumer behavior, and the evidence collected will either back up the predictions or not. So if the evidence doesn't back up the predictions, so if the evidence goes against the predictions, the hypothesis re is rejected and economists go back to square one and we start again by observing different consumer patterns, different kinds of consumer behaviors. However, if the evidence collected backs up the predictions, i.e. it supports the idea that when prices rise, consumers spend less, whereas when prices fall, consumers spend more, then we have the basis of a theory. Our, our hypothesis becomes a theory and that becomes the law of demand, demand theory there. What then happens is that this theory gets tested even more and more and more to make sure there are no chinks in it. If there are any chinks, i.e. if there are any times where this theory doesn't always hold, then there can be sub-theories or there can be slight exceptions to the theory, such as Giffen good theory or Veblen good theory. Giffen good theory, the idea that when prices go up, consumers buy more, because they switch their income away from buying other things towards buying this good or service. That's a very unique idea, and that only happens rarely, but that can be an exception to the law of demand, but we can only get that strengthening of the theory of law of demand when we further test the theory, and we see that in some cases, this theory doesn't always hold. We also get the idea of Veblen good theory, the idea that there are certain real luxurious goods that consumers only want to buy when prices are really high, because they're in a status whereby they feel great because they are the only people that have an income that can afford these really ostentatious or luxurious goods. So the idea that when prices get really high, actually demand can increase because certain consumers come in and they want that status of you know, the fact that they can actually afford that. That's a Veblen good idea. But again, very rare circumstance that happens. We can get the idea of Giffen goods and Veblen goods only when we further test the basic idea of demand theory. So that's basically how a theory can come about in economics, but crucially, it's very obvious to see here that economics is a science. Economics is a positive subject. All of our theories, all of our observations, all of our hypotheses, all of our predictions are tested against evidence, factual evidence collected from the real world. That makes it a positive subject where it can be tested. All theories can be tested. For that reason in economics, we like positive statements. We like to make arguments, we like to say things that can be backed up or that can be uh, falsified from evidence. Very, very important idea in economics, the idea of positive statements. We do not like normative statements, which are opinionated statements, 
what are called value judgments. Normative statements are often statements which have the words like, you know, should, or ought to, or it's fair. You know, these are normative statements. So, it's unfair there are people that live in poverty. It's unfair that the, go the government is taxing cigarettes. Uh, the government should look to subsidise the production of healthy food. These are all opinions. And the problem with opinions is they can't be tested. So, it's very hard for economists to do anything with opinions. Whereas positive statements can always be tested against the facts, against evidence. We like those in economics. We can actually do stuff with those. We can study, uh, we can study that a lot more because we can test them. So always bear in mind that economics is a social science. We observe human behaviour. We come up with hypotheses, predictions and theories that can be tested against real world evidence. Which means that we are a positive science. We do not like normative statements. Thank you very much guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.